All right, YouTube. Uh, this is just another cut. It's gonna be a high top fade with dreads on top, as you can see. Starting out with my first guideline. Just got my uh, icons open or closed all the way. Just gonna look at my first guideline all the way around. Make a little a good gap in there so I can get in there and start to fade out. I put on my one, and I just, I just do this just so I can have a little bit of space so when I open up my clippers and stuff, I can see what I'm doing. This is just cleaning up. This is just my second line. Just going to go all the way around with my one. I believe I have it opened. Going all the way around with it, double checking just to make sure. Now I'm gonna switch off to my one and a half, and I'm gonna go from where I stop with my one. Just blend up. I'm leaving that part a little bit longer because he is trying to grow dreads out, so he needs that that piece of hair to dread up. Just gonna go all the way around with it. Just the same thing. All all I'm doing is just the steps. Like I'm basically doing the same thing just different guards I'm gonna um, go close start my fade out from where I made my first guideline just going up slightly just to get out that first hard line as you can see it's already starting to blend I won't be opening like halfway now I'm gonna get my uh, 116th Go around, just clean up some more. It's really starting out to fade. Going back in when I was to saw something. Now you see me going around, just messing around with the levers, just making sure everything looks good. Um, I'm making sure I'm only using the corner of my guard too. Now I'm going in with my balding. Just gonna get that excess hair out. Yeah, I, I um I recently just broke my baldings. <laughs> um, I was messing around with the uh, screw on the side to get it to adjust it and that plastic just broke. So <laughs> I just take the blade and put it on the old cheap clippers and it, it works just fine until I get another screw. Uh, now I'm going with um, with my uh, tattoos. Just cleaning up a little, what the little pieces that the balding clippers didn't get. And just really making sure it's faded out. Now I got my icons with the um, one and a half. Switch guards to the one. I do a lot of guard switching if you haven't noticed. Um, usually if I don't, if I see something that's wrong, like I'll try to fix it right there. I don't wait, then I'll forget. Um, just bend a little bit more. I think I have the one opened. I'll see something else again. So I'm always double and tri triple checking. Every time I'm doing it, every time I see a little hair, I make sure I get it. Now I want my two. And I'm just getting that uh, pouch of hair that I seen right there. Back with my one. Now I got my one and a half. My 116, I'll change to my one. Or, yeah. I got my one out and I'm just really getting in. Making sure everything is blending. Now I'm just 
brushing it all the way around. You see how when I brushed it, the hair laid out because he has curlier hair. So brushing it, let the hair lay down a little bit so I can see what else I need to do. Now I got my uh, triple O Speedo guy guard. Um, slightly different than the um, 116th. I think it's like a 118th, something like that. Just blending out, make sure everything's cool. You guys probably watching this like, oh, he switches too much, but I mean, this is just how I come showing you guys how I cut through these videos. Um, and yes, I do switch a lot of guards. Every time I see something that I don't like, I always go back and fix it right there. I don't wait. No, he wanted some lines, so I'm putting three lines in right there. No, I'm blending around the lines. Just do a little shape up right there. Alright, now I'm starting to shape up on that side. Yeah, I take a lot of pride in my shape up. I try to do them as crispy as possible. I recently just got some, uh, some boy detailers, man. Sharpest trimmers I've used, man. I'll probably be doing a review on those pretty soon. I got my G-Wizzes, but I have a tattoo blade on there. I use that for my uh, shape ups, as well as design. When there's a couple hairs I did I couldn't get I couldn't get the curve out right, I'll use the um, tattoo blade and I can go all the way around, get every little hair, really get it sharp. Now I'm gonna start the front hairline, making sure I don't cut any of the dreads. I'm holding you can't see what I'm doing right there, but I'm holding up the uh, dreads with my finger if you can see right there. shape ups I start from the middle and I go to the right I come back to the middle and go to the left and then I really make sure it's um, really straight I step back I lean back and take a really good look at it also looking through my mirror as you can see it's really good to look through your mirror you can see everything that's pretty much the cut right here Just really clean them off and yeah, that's it all I got left to do is just to um, Line them up with the uh, razor. So yeah, I'm gonna just let you guys watch that. It's pretty much nothing else to it. It's pretty simple. This is my cut right here. Make sure you guys please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I'm really gonna try and put more videos out. But yeah, there goes the cut right there. Going for the front. Lean them back. But yeah, like I was saying, please subscribe. Trying to get out, get my name out there a little bit. Also, get me on um, Instagram at Lewis underscore the underscore barber 440. Yeah, that was the cut right there. Yep.